I'm here at the Iquitos Airport. Uh, got a ride here from Milton, my friend, who uh, took me here on his motorcycle, which in and of itself was an adventure. And they didn't make me take my shoes off. And they also let me bring my water bottle through. Just had to scan it. Thank you, Peru. Looking forward to the, uh, the flight home. I have a book, Mastering the Art of War, by Chu Chuk Liang, also known as Kong Ming. He's one of my idols. If you, if you don't know who this guy is, uh, a brilliant strategist around 200 AD during the Three Kingdoms War in China. And he uh, interpreted the art of war, which is, it's funny because like when you, when you have respect for someone, I think that there's a tendency to respect the idea more. I respect this human that wrote these ideas, so all of a sudden the ideas mean more to me. Kind of an interesting phenomenon about reality. Uh, it's just an incredible time here. Feel better. Coming back in a month. Good things, good things. I'm gonna do good things. I'm doing good things. ride back in Los Angeles. Jesus gave me a ride. Thank you, Jesus, by the way. And the amenities are grand, I'm not gonna lie. Walking up here into this cool breeze of an apartment. Let me show you around. You may have seen this place before. Got my fucking foots on. There's the massage chair that I bought. Did I show you that yet? Yeah, it's a full-on massage chair, dude. You can sit in it and get a massage. Um, blazing fast internet. Filtered water, got all my musical instruments. There's a mannequin. You know, got everything. But it's empty. No, no, I mean, it's not empty, it's still great. But I'll tell you, the first thing I noticed on my way back, I left at like 4.40 this morning, got a, got a ride to the airport with Milton. You saw me with the toothpaste on my lips. Um is that once I got to Lima, I flew from Iquitos to Lima, the, my internet, I had some fast internet for the first time in like two weeks. So I've been like for two weeks, I was in Iquitos working on like, a, um, out of a internet cafe. And I'd have like one megabyte per second or like, and then at my hotel I had like 30 kilobytes a second, 40 kilobytes a second, stuff like that. As soon as I got to Akit or to Lima and I had like 10 megabytes per second all of a sudden, I realized I had all the data speed in the world, but no content. 
And, I'm, and I realize, like, I think this is a problem with America right now. And Americans, and you and me, and Amer if you're in America, here with me, and, you, and maybe, maybe, you'll, you, maybe you can relate to this. We have unfettered access to everything as fast as we want. I have like a hundred megabyte upload download speed, you know, right now on this computer, on this machine. hundred megabytes download. I can download 20 megabytes a second I can upload. But I don't have anything to upload because I'm sitting in an apartment in LA. I'm not like doing, you know, I'm not doing the good that is worth uploading. And I think maybe that that's endemic in the United States right now is that we don't have a lot of it. Not everyone, like Olga K. If you know who Olga K is, Olga Karaviva, I think it's Karaviva, right? Olga? She's doing good. Like she is creating moosh walks, these awesome dog and cat socks. So she's doing, there's, there are people in America that are doing crazy good, but a lot of people like with that are frustrated, you know, a lot of my friends and you guys on Facebook and all this, it stems from like, what are we doing really? with our days. Like, how valuable is it? Yeah, we can upload it fast and show everyone, but like, what was it? You went and saw a movie, walked your dog, got upset about something, like, what did you do? And that's what I'm asking myself in Lima. What did I do? What, what am I doing? What am I doing here? <sighs> I guess the idea is strike a balance, go do good. What I want to do is get Google to put some like global internet, like Wi-Fi internet in like, you know, Google X, Alphabet. Google is owned now, they, they made a bigger company called Alphabet. So Alphabet owns Google. And Google X now is just called X. X is owned by Alphabet. Al X is like their technology center. They're like futuristic technologies and they're building like hot air balloons um, for that can give global internet. So we could fly those over Iquitos and over the Amazon because a lot of these villages in the Amazon don't have internet access. And so the information is challenging to get information. And geez, I mean, if you haven't had been in a position where you only have like 30 kilobytes a second in a while, it's challenging. It's hard to, to stay in touch. And like, I have to pick and choose what I upload and it has to be like low quality. I can't do like the, the the best quality. It's very, very difficult or expensive to do the best quality. So that was an interesting, interesting observation I had in Lima. So, you know, I mean, as an American, what can we do? Here in America, what can we do? I think we can start treating plastic differently. Maybe we can start teaching our kids about it. Well, you can start teaching your kids about it. And maybe I can teach your kids about it. I don't have any kids. My, my children are the children of earth and the trees and the plants and the water. Um, my child is Gaia. But we can maybe teach, teach the kids about plastic. Maybe we can like reuse plastic bottle caps. I was thinking I, I want to go over and hang out with Jeremy uh, Aldrich. Jeremy Aldrich, I want to come over and hang out with you and Tasha and the kids and uh, talk about plastic. And like, uh, maybe we can make some, like start saving bottle caps, plastic bottle, las tapas. We should start saving tapas, the, the cap, screw caps, because those are really fun to make stuff with. You can make flashlights with them and make, make like fun art projects with them. Reusing it, like reusing it for fun stuff, I think might be a, a good start or even functional stuff. You can take a water bottle and cut the top off and turn it into like a, a, a pen holder. Like I actually don't have a pen holder. I was like, where am I going to? Get a, something to hold my pens in. I gotta buy something? No, man, just use a water bottle. Zang. Okay, thoughts for the day. Peru, I'm coming to you. T minus 28 days or something. Until then, I'll be working from here, doing the best that I can. And um, uh, let me know if you need anything. In the meantime, maybe we can, maybe we can plot plot and plan some interesting maneuvers for the coming days, weeks, months, and years. Okay, I'll see you later.